Shalom from Yerushalayim. I'm Rabbi Yonatan Gorchmit. I'm a student at Safadi Center in the Old City. Today I'm going to be taking you around a bit of Me'a Sharem for the Old City, showing you some sights and uh, sounds of Jerusalem, the Holy City. This area in general is open to all kinds of Jews. It's not a specific kind of Jew that's welcome here. In fact, any Jew who's keeping Torah B'nai Israel, who's keeping Torah al like Moshe Israel, they are welcome here. People who are keeping Shabbat, people who are keeping Kashrut, it's not just one kind of Jew. And I think that that's the main thing people would understand. It's not Sephardim or Hasidim or, or Lit Lituim. It's all kinds of Jews coming together to keep Torah in the way that is prescribed by our sages. And so actually they're quite open-minded in terms of different styles of Judaism, provided it's the style of Judaism that is authentic and close to the tradition. Currently standing in one of the rooms of Yeshiva Mir, there are three buildings, each one with about three floors that have floors identical to this one. Talking about thousands of B'nai Torah, learning Torah, learning Talmud, Bahavruta together, people learning Halachot, people learning Medrash, people learning Kabbalah, people coming together from all different backgrounds and different areas of the world to learn Torah. Here, there is no real difference between Litvak and Hasid and Sfadi. Everybody here is learning together. It really is a, a sight that's incredible to see. Especially when you imagine that there are three floors and three buildings. That means that there's six of these. We've got approximately two to four thousand Talmudim every day learning Torah. And it really is a sight that uh, it moves and stirs the soul. We're here in the Old City. This is actually a very well-known boys' school, uh, a primary school, and a wonderful courtyard that's used a lot by the army and by different kibbutz to come together and meet in a bigger space. Um, it's one of the lesser-seen sites in the Old City because there's really not that many tourist sites here, but it's still very beautiful and a wonderful courtyard. Hello and hello, how do you do? Buenos dias. This is the chair of Rabbi Nachman. Um, a lot of people uh, don't know the story of how the chair of Rabbi Nachman got to Yerushalayim. It happens to be that this chair was smuggled piece by piece by Breslav Hasidim from the Ukraine to here. And at sometimes this was very risky um, to their lives, but they smuggled the chair in, in, in several hundred pieces. They broke the chair down into pieces and they brought it here to Eretz Israel where it could be guarded by Hasidei Breslov here in Israel. And by looking at the chair you can see the beautiful, uh, the beautiful work in wood and just wondrous, wondrous detail and design. And it really is a bit of a miracle that the thing survived and that they were able to bring it here to Yerushalayim. In this shul, in, they study mainly the works of Rabbi Nachman. Every week they are open for Hamnasas Orchim, they are feeding uh, people, the poor of Jerusalem and visitors to Jerusalem, and they are teaching and learning the works of Rabbi Nachman here in the show. I hope you've had a good time, I hope you've seen some interesting things. Wish you Lachayim and Shalom and peace from the holy city of Jerusalem, and hopefully you'll come and visit yourself and see it for yourself soon. Please go.